Here is an updated overview of the general functionalities of Geoscience Analyst, our free 3D visualization and communication software. A 3D compilation in Geoscience Analyst can be composed of Earth model objects represented as points, curves, surfaces, drill holes, block models, 2D grids, and georeferenced images. Objects can be attributed with multiple types of data, allowing users to manipulate detailed and comprehensive models. Let's get started with drill holes. Drill holes can be imported along with associated lithology codes, assays, and geophysical logs. Fast and easy queries can be performed to focus on given subsets of data. For example, visualize only select lithologies. Also, a drill hole painted by, let's say, copper percent can be scaled by a second source of information, like zinc percent. In addition, profiles can be shown to further analyze and compare drill hole logs. 3D points are a standard and flexible way to manipulate geoscientific datasets of multiple sources. Here's an example of structural data. A point set can be painted by, let's say, strike, dip, and its structural code. But this information can also be visualized as oriented tablets in 3D. Geophysical data acquired along profiles are best represented using curve objects in Geoscience Analyst. For example, airborne gravity data can be visualized in 3D, but it can also be analyzed as a profile in the 2D Profile Viewer panel. You can go through the lines and much more, which by the way, that description in the video will point you towards more detailed tutorials, including one on how to set up the 2D Profile Viewer. GIS compilations can be represented to provide enhanced contextual references. These can be draped on triangular surfaces like topography. You can also apply vertical exaggeration for better analysis of regional data. Similarly, both horizontally and vertically georeferenced images can be imported and draped on surfaces. And transparency can be applied on all objects and affects all types of rendering. Block model representation is often used to render 3D models attributed with a collection of data from different sources, such as geological models, geophysical inversions, and resource estimates. Geoscience Analyst provides several visualization tools for this object type. The cross-section slices are at the core of this functionality. The discretization of the 3D space into cells can be shown as well as the grid localization labels. And 2D grids are also supported. There is also the option to visualize block model data with property blending, arbitrary sections of a given dip and azimuth, volumes, and ISO values. As you can see, the Geoscience Analyst user experience is quite similar no matter what geoscientific data or model is being investigated. For example, displaying a geological horizon triggers its selection in the object panel, the 3D viewport, the data table, and also displays its associated visual parameters. Upon selection, the data table shows metadata for the horizon. By accessing the Triangles and Nodes tab, the user can investigate what data is present on that object. When a node is selected in 3D, the data table will auto-scroll to the corresponding row and highlight in yellow. Vice versa, 
selected rows in the data table are highlighted in the 3D viewport. Distance defaults and drill holes are stored at the node level and can be quickly visualized directly from the data table. And once painted by distance to drill holes, the data colors panel gets populated with basic statistics and its histogram, as well as the selection of a given data point and how it is related to a color table. And you can also change that color map. You can also use the sliders to isolate untested portions of this geological horizon. And you can use the 3D labels to highlight an area of interest. You can take advantage of more knowledge sharing and visualization tools like saving views, the slicer, and the tape measure. You can save the workspace file and share with your colleagues who can open and review with their free license of Geoscience Analyst.